This is how to play chess part three. In this part, I'm going to discuss uh, castling and capturing and passant. In castling, very simple move. Uh, the king moves two squares to the left, two squares to the right. Um, the rook occupies the square that the king passed over. And in order for castling to to uh, to be a move that you can make, uh, three conditions must exist. Uh, number one, the king or the rook have not moved. Uh, number two, the squares between the king and the rook are not occupied. Uh, number three, the king cannot be in check. The king cannot move to a after castling, the king can't move to a square uh, where the king where the king will be in check, and the king can't pass over a square that where the king is in attack. Um, so, if those three conditions exist, you can castle your king. Um, so here you can see in the sample board the king is at e8. The king can move to c8 or g8. If the king moves to c8, then the rook moves to d8. If the king moves to g8, the rook moves to f8. Also, here's uh, the white can also castle. Um, the king is at e1. The uh, king can move to c1, and the rook will move to d1. The king can also move to g1, and the rook will move to the rook will move to f1. Um, so here you have like the results after. The, here the black king opted to castle at c1, and the rook is of course is at d1. Here the king moved to g1, and the rook is at f1. That's very simple. So yes, yeah, so so uh, again the, um, to castle a king, the, the king or and the rook cannot have moved. Uh, the squares between the king and the rook must be vacant, and the king cannot be in check. The king cannot be in check uh, when castling is done and can't move to a square where the king is under attack. So if you have those, if you have those conditions, you can castle. So next we have to move to capturing en passant, and very simple move, but uh, one a lot of people. Have, um, forget about um, of course the, the king uh, here's the here's the sample board and uh, the 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 pawns can move to either a3 two one square or two squares so it can move to a, a from a2 to a3 or a4 um, so the idea of castling and passant is that if the if the Opposing pawn moves to um, it moves up two squares. Uh, the the attacking uh, the opposing player can capture the pawn as if it only moved up one square. So here you see um, the white pawn moves to a four. Um, so then the the pawn the black pawn uh, captures en passant from uh, it, it it goes to uh, so here the the pawn the, it can only capture diagonally so here it's it's uh, captured the the uh, white pawn en passant moved to to uh, a three and it's, and the white pawn is captured. Um, so, that's very, so basically, the idea of this of this move is to uh, so the, the that the white pawn cannot uh, use his two square move to sk skip past an enemy pawn. Um, so yeah, it's very so very simple. Um, not many people do this, but uh, if you do, you can you basically you can capture uh, and pass on. Um, so that's castling and passant. Uh, so for this video, um, in the next video, I'm going to present a uh, pawn promotion. So, but that's it for this video, and I'll see you 
in the next video.